I can only imagine what it must have been like to have owned this car when it was new. It feels like a car that a movie star owned. If you could afford to buy one in 1954, you had arrived. I'm sure people stopped and looked as you drove by. Curved windshield, rocket ship tail lights, vertical grill teeth, headlights hidden behind wire mesh, no exterior door handles to mess up the smooth lines. The cockpit is a work of art, chrome, gauges, leather. The convertible top hides away behind the cockpit. And look at how the two exhaust pipes exit the body. They look like machine guns. This car is a piece of automotive sculpture. In person, it has presence. It feels important. And in 1954, they only made a hundred in this color, Sportsman Red. Even the name reeks of 1950s cool, Sportsman Red. The car has its matching number engine with correct casting numbers on the head and block. It carries the original triple Carter carburetors with correct air cleaners and has the original ignition shield. The engine compartment is nicely restored to original condition. All 1953 and 1954 Corvettes had automatic transmissions. The interior is in lovely condition. The dashboard is well appointed with chrome gauges, a spread of buttons and an AM FM radio. The carpets are perfect. The sill plates are beautiful. Interestingly enough, seat belts weren't even an option in 1954. So the restorer has installed a pair of new but correct looking seat belts. In the trunk are an original pair of side curtains, correct jack and spare wheel cover. As you can tell, the car is well restored and in excellent condition throughout. Chevrolet expected to sell tens of thousands of these cars, but by the end of 1954, they had sold less than 4,000. There were 1,500 unsold Corvettes on dealer lots. By all measures, this car was an economic failure and production should have stopped, but it didn't. Ford, Chevy's main rival, released the Thunderbird a year later in 1955. And Chevy didn't want to leave the field open for Ford to own the domestic sports car market. So the Corvette lived on. And before long, they were selling 10,000 cars a year. It's curious that early Corvettes had a six cylinder, 235 cubic inch engine. That's about 3.8 liters. The sports car market in 1953 was dominated by the British and Germans, Jaguar, Aston Martin, and the Mercedes Goldwyn. They all had six cylinder engines of about three liters. So Chevy's decision to put a 3.8 liter six cylinder engine in the Corvette matched what the competition was doing. This car has just the right amount of chrome. The interior has just the right mix of colors, cream dashboard, tan top, and red everywhere else. Everything on this car is well styled. Sports cars are not only about going fast, it's about the way they make you feel. And today, 66 years later, it still does what it was designed to do. It puts a smile on your face, it feels important, and people stop and look when you go by. <laughs>